Let's take stock of the entire FMCG pack. Well, uh, we've had the quarter gone by as was the financial year. Uh, what can we expect going forward? How are the valuations looking based on what we have seen thing and how things we've seen so far? Well, my colleague Mahima is joining us to take us through uh, what we can expect and how the quarter has, and as well as the financial year has gone by. Mahima. Right, Agam. So, um, as usual, FMCG sector has disappointed us a bit because FY24 has posed a muted growth in terms of both revenue and margins. However, there are some uh, FMCG companies which have really outperformed. In terms of revenues, the top performers were Tata Consumer, Colgate and Dabur, where Tata Consumer did show a growth of around 10% in revenues for FY24. Colgate show, uh, did show a growth of 8%, Dabur 7.6%. But in terms of margins, mostly everywhere, like every FMCG major, the margins were muted. But um, the, the companies that disappointed in terms of revenues, well, ITC did not pose any growth as compared to FY23, Hindustan Unilever hardly posted a growth of 2.4 and Nestle also hardly posted a growth of 8 to 2.4 as compared to FY23. But as, as I spoke before, margin expansion, well, there are some companies which have really outperformed. There's Colgate, which has um, improved its margins by 4.1%, Godrej 3.1% and Marico by 2.5%. But uh, companies which have not shown any kind of margin expansions are ITC, again, hardly 0.1%, Dabur, hardly 0.1% and Hindustan Unilever with hardly 0.3%. But um, when we talk about volumes, the volumes have um, a bit imp improved a bit in terms of some companies where there is GCPL which is posted a volume growth of 12%, uh, which is quite significant. Dabur, 5.5%, uh, Tata Consumer, 4%, Marico, 3%, and HUL, around 2%. But, um, you know, this is, this is the overall volume growth and how revenues and margins have shaped up. But um, in terms of the rural demand recovery, which has always been the talk of the town when it comes to FMCG stocks, we, we've seen that uh, there, was an, there was a Nelson note which gave statistics that the urban market saw a growth of 5.7%, whereas uh, in the past three months, rural has uh, shown a demand growth of around 7.6%. Uh, and overall, uh, in FY25, a lot of companies came out with their commentary saying that they are seeing rural green shoots, and this is... Um, on account of a lot of uh, reasons like uptick in mar uh, margins, uptick in farmer revenue, food inflation, etc. But now going forward in FY25, what uh, what are the FMCG companies post for? Well, double digit revenue growth is definitely on cards. Major improvement of 18% is expected in Tata Consumers. Tata Consumer has stood out in FY24 and will continue to, uh, is expected to continue in FY25. There is ITC, Marico, Dabur, Nestle, which is set um, to have a growth around 8 to 11 percent and HUL is uh, posed to witness a growth of 7 7 percent which is the least amongst the FMCG pack and in terms of margins no margin expansion at all on cards is estimated as per the Bloomberg estimates that we have Nestle is to witness a degrowth in margins and GCPL, HUL, ITC, Dabur may see a low single digit margin expansion. And um, you know, finally coming down to what valuations look like, we've picked up five uh, stocks with highest market valuations, market cap, and we're seeing that uh, there's some kind of improvement that we're expecting in terms of valuation, but at present, um, as we can see, all the companies are highly valued and there is there's hardly um, any change that we've seen in terms of valuations as compared to FY23. So overall valuations will be something to look out for in FY25 uh, and revenue growth is something that will be on the cards for FMCG companies in FY25. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mahima, for getting us uh, how the quarter and the year has gone by and what we can expect going forward.